guys, this is your sister Karen Giddin in Jesus Christ. I want to give this beautiful, encouraging vision that I had, yes, on the 30th of April 2020, the Most High gave me a vision. It was a beautiful vision for our beautiful brothers in the Lord. In this vision, brothers and sisters, I found myself in what appears to be a church. Okay, appears to be a church and the, the 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 ladies you know the sisters we were on one side of the church and the brothers were on the other side and I realized recognized what the brothers were wearing they were they they stood out while the sisters while us sisters were in different clothing you know dresses but different colors I noticed that the male the men were on one accord in terms of their color and they were wearing like a purple and white and red and a different color but they were literally they all dressed the same they all dressed the same all the brothers in the church like I say the females you know we 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 were, we were wearing dresses, but different colors, you know, different styles and all of that. But the male, the brothers in the church, they were dressed in one accord. Then all of a sudden, brothers and sisters, these brothers began to just, you know, there is something beautiful. There is something special when a man praises the most high you know it's so powerful when you have a brother in the lord authentically with his whole heart <laughs> with his whole heart when you see that brother in action worshiping adoring giving Yah all the praise, giving the Most High all the honor, all the glory and all the praise. It is a sight to behold. It really is a sight to behold. It is so precious. And so these brothers, you know, they were really praising the Lord. They were with their whole heart, the mind, they were just so focused on the Most High. And I remember the sisters you know, we were praising God as well, but we had to stop. You know, we, we, we stopped and we were, we were just watching the brothers in the Lord praising away. They were, they were crying out. Tears were falling down their eyes. They were, they were, it was so beautiful to watch, brothers and sisters. And there's one particular word. They all began to shout together and they began to shout out. O U T out. And like they were saying, whatever they were praying and praising God, they were like saying, for instance, oh, they were saying, oh gosh, let me try to remember. But the word that they said was out. O U T, the shouts, the shouted to shout, the started to shout, out, out. And it was just one accord one accord and we just stood there we were happy for these brothers praising the most high loving him giving him all the honor glory and praise but whatever they were praying against that's it they were praying against some stuff and they were shouting it to come out so powerful they were just saying out so whatever they were praying against one accord out o-u-t out out and whatever they were praying against was saying out was so beautiful and as I began to watch them praise, honor, and glorify the Most High, the Holy Spirit began to speak to me concerning what I was seeing with these brothers in the church, with these brothers in the Most High, I should say. And the Lord made it very, very clear in the vision as I began to analyze what was going on. The Most High made it very clear through the Holy Spirit that it is time for our men to rise up. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. It is time for, hallelujah, 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It is time for our men to rise up and take their position in the Most High. Because you can look around and you can see that a lot of women at this moment in time, in this dispensation, is at the forefront, you know, with the word of God. You know, so it was very, very clear in the vision that the Holy Spirit told me that it is time for the men to take their position in the Lord. And some of you brothers, some of you, you know, you know that you are pastors. You know that you are a prophet. You know that you are a teacher. But... Your positions have been, I wouldn't say lost, but been stolen for a time because of the distraction of whatever with you brothers. I, I don't know what's going on in some of you, some of you got brothers lives, but the distraction is there. Okay. And the most high is calling the Bible say young men. I call upon you because you are strong. Okay? And so, therefore, you have to now yield over and give yourself. There's a song that says, I give myself away so you can use me. Okay? A beautiful song. And you have to give yourself away to the Lord. And that is what I saw in the vision, brothers. You know, you were praising the Most High. And it was so beautiful to see these, these brothers in the Lord. And, and in the vision, the, 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 even though I didn't know the brothers, but it's a representation of all the brothers in the Lord all across the world. You have to wake up. You have to now find your position in the Lord and begin to do his will. Remember the story that Jesus gave the parable of the talents. One have one talent, one of two, one of three, and whatever, you know the story. Don't be like that wicked servant with the one talent and hide it. Use what the Lord has called you to do, brothers. This vision is powerful and it is for you. You have to wake up. You cannot be like Ahab. Okay? You cannot be like Ahab. Okay? You have to be like Elijah and Elisha and Jeremiah and Isaiah and Amos. But most importantly, you've got to have the mindset of Christ. You've got to be like Christ, your Redeemer. So it is time for our men to rise up. We are praying for you. We are praying for you. I know that the sisters on this channel will back, back you, you know. They will back you, brothers. But we are praying for you. It's time for you to rise up. For you, if those of you have a YouTube channel, Facebook, whatever social media, you know, you have to rise up. Because I saw it in the vision. It is time for the men to rise. That is what the Holy Spirit told me. As I, as I looked at you worshipping and, and, and shouting out, out out you were declaring you were decreeing you were so powerful that as i said we the sisters that was worshiping the most high we had to stop and we our attention was on you 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 brothers you have a mandate you have a mandate for this gospel and it's time for you to rise up. It is time for our men to take their full position in the Most High. And I pray that a brother will get this message and rise up. You can do it. 
you will do it. You will be empowered, not by anybody, but through the Holy Spirit. Because, it's a, because it is the Spirit of the Most High that is going to teach you and tell you how to maneuver in these last days. Hallelujah. In these last days. And you know, I'm, I'm going back to the 144. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for that revelation. I wasn't going to say anything, but this just dropped in my spirit as I'm doing this video. Um, the 144, you don't know if you're a part of it, brothers. But if you seek the face of the Most High, you know, he will tell you the truth. He will lead you into all truth. Because he is preparing that army. He is preparing that army, that 144,000. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I feel this very, very strongly on my, on my spirit as I'm releasing this video. Brothers, you are a part of this army. This 144,000. I feel that very, very strongly. I have to say this. Prepare yourself. I don't know who I'm talking to. But if this message resonates with you, brothers, go to the Lord. Seek Him. You are a part of this 144,000, this beautiful army that follows the Lamb everywhere that He goes. What a privilege. What a grace. What a grace. So I just wanted to come and encourage our brothers in, in the Most High. We love you, you know, and I'm sure the sisters on this channel and other channels as, as well uh, will, will back me up to say that, brothers, we love you. We adore you. We respect you. Um, and we just want to see you shine. For your king hallelujah shine for your king shine for your great god shine for your great god because he is coming with the reward in his hands and you want to be a part of that do not hide your talent okay do not hide your talent so god eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus precious holy name Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.